Cool. One of the hidden advantages that you know I look at at using prefabrication is you know job site management, or you know, in other words, greater form and efficiency. If if you hand over a job to a foreman from a project manager or owner's position after you've, you've been awarded the job, you hand the documents over to the foreman. Which is better? Is it better to say, hey, Bob, here are the drawings. Take a look at them. If you have any questions, give me a call. I got to go. I got a, a job walk to go to. Or is it better to say, hey, look, here are the drawings. This is kind of how I looked at it in conjunction with the, the prefabrication guy, Bill. Here's his number. He's got assemblies that are already put together for you. Give him a call, talk to him, and, and you guys can come up with a pretty good plan. Um, it, as a foreman, you're starting off as at an advantage rather than as a, a disadvantage of trying to figure out what it was that was in the estimator or project manager's mind when he was putting together this, this proposal for the job. Second advantage for a foreman is that a lot of the questions on a job are answered at the front end rather than the, the, the middle or towards the end of a project. When I, as a, a prefabrication guy, am, am doing my takeoffs, I'm looking at a room with a piece of equipment and I'm saying, okay, well, what do you want to see here? Is it 120 volts? Is it 208? Is it 277, 480, whatever? Do you want to see a twist lock plug? Do you want to see a straight blade plug? What is it? So that when I put together a room 422, it's all there, questions been answered, and things are, are go smoothly on the job. Rather than a foreman who gets bogged down, sends a guy into that room, and his journeyman or, or apprentice or whoever's building it has a question about, oh, what do we want to see here on this wall? Oh, well, we haven't answered that question yet. It, it speeds up the process, it answers questions, and it, it frees up more time for your foreman. But the last part, and this is the most important part, is it takes the repetitive work off the job site. So a foreman doesn't have to really supervise all of that wasted repetitive work. He can spend his time looking at larger issues and the larger project rather than involved in the minutia of, do I have enough ground pigtails to put into this, these boxes, or do I have enough MC on the job in order to get these assemblies done? He can look at, okay, well, what's the next phase of this, the, the assemblies that we've got to put in? What is it that the general contractor needs for me in order to maintain my, my schedule? And in essence, your foreman becomes what he or she should be, which is a, a person working at trying to get the job done rather than looking at the minutiae of a project.